Hey good people, it's Tishara from Politics and Fashion here today with my end of summer capsule wardrobe video. Now I tend to do these every season. I did not have a chance to do one at the beginning of summer. I did do one for spring however. Some of these pieces actually come from that video so just a daily reminder to wear your clothes friend, wear your clothes and then when you think you're done just get one more wear out of them please okay. We are all about conscious consumption over here which is why a capsule wardrobe works so well because if you think about it you were able to get the maximum amount of wear out of a key number of high quality pieces. With that said, I am the self-proclaimed capsule wardrobe queen along with the uh, High Priestess of Thotlandia. That's the title that was actually given to me, but I welcome it. I think it's a great juxtaposition, honestly. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about as far as white toenail season is concerned, because we still got some time. We still got some time to get out there. Uh, then make sure you're following me over on Instagram. But in the meantime, let's get into my end of summer capsule wardrobe. Before I get started, someone is going to say, what is a capsule wardrobe? Great question, my friend, okay? If you're new around these parts, then you may not know it is a predetermined amount of pieces that are in your closet that you use to interchange into daily outfits. Some people believe in a 30 by 30, so 30 pieces for 30 outfits. They believe in a much smaller capsule wardrobe, maybe a 10 by 10. Some people do not include handbags and shoes. Some people do. Whatever works for you is what I highly encourage because the biggest benefit for me is twofold. Number one, it minimizes consumption by ensuring I have an ongoing checklist of what is in my closet. I am not one of those people, you all, that tends to forget what I have because I do get so much wear out of my clothes. And number two, it makes getting dressed so easy, y'all. On a day that I'm not wearing makeup, from start to finish, by the time I get up, wash my face, brush my teeth, all those things, if I come into my closet, which the room that you're in now is my closet, if I come in here to get dressed, I'm always selecting from a row of pieces that are behind you. They're on a separate rack, so that way they don't get confused with anything else here, right? If I wanted to, obviously, I could pull out a pair of jeans, etc. But for the most part, I'm not really wearing denim like that this time of year. So the pieces behind me, are kind of four season pieces. The pieces in front of me are this season's capsule. I can come in here and get dressed in less than five minutes because all I'm doing is selecting pieces that I have already curated for the season. So again, not only is it saving me money to have a capsule wardrobe, I believe it is maximizing my style, especially because I happen to know my style pillar. I am keenly aware of my aesthetic and the pieces that I love, okay? Outside of the lesbian high school principal at the performing arts school, I tell y'all about that all the time, Okay, my style pillar as I define in my newest ebook, How to Declutter Your Wardrobe and Curate a Style You Love, is elevated simplicity. Okay, that means I love a good old basic with a twist. I love neutrals. That's my thing. You're going to see a lot of neutrals in this video, y'all. If you are not a neutrals lover, then just insert your favorite color palette into everything that I'm wearing, okay? I know for sure how I like to dress. I am keenly aware of my favorite brands, for example. I'm all about high quality wardrobe essentials and basics, and that is why getting dressed in the morning is so easy for me, especially when I have a capsule wardrobe. So enough chit chat. I have so many resources and videos on this topic that I will link down below. Let's get into what is comprising my end of summer capsule. Let's go down the line first to give each piece a spotlight just because I think these are great items if you were looking to invest. The first category is dresses. Let's start with this dress by Aritzia. It is part of the Babaton collection. I have another piece from the same collection uh, in this capsule. I love Aritzia for basics. You all have heard me go on and on about, I go on and on. You've heard me blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Y'all have heard me talk about this over and over again, so I will not say too much. Just know that this collection, this dress in particular, I love because I feel like it sucks you in, it holds you great. I don't even have to wear a bra with it. The one caveat I will say is don't dry it. I made that mistake the last time I washed it and it shrunk a bit, but I am wearing a size large, which 
I typically would go for a medium, but I wanted to make sure that it wasn't too short and having that extra kind of width helped to lengthen it for me because I am almost six feet tall. But Aritzia for the like classic everyday dress is a great brand. Then I have this dress which I've had for maybe two years now. Um, I got it from Farfetch. It is by Ganny. The girls say it is now on sale. Hopefully it's not sold out y'all because I absolutely love it. Okay. Um, the way that it just kind of drapes your sil silhouette it goes all the way down to the back i'm talking about to the, like right at the top of your booty crack um it's on a different level it really is and between the clavicle which i love that ministry and the lower back at this big age, I realized that when I was younger, I think that I was showing a lot of skin and there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Friend, do you. I, I preach body positivity. But I realized now that I can actually be sexier, in my opinion, if I am covered in certain areas, right? So the fact that the front of the dress, it just, if you see me coming, it just is giving you long halter dress, right? You see, you see me coming. But girl, I turn around and I hit you with that heat, with that low back and those two little silver, little bedazzled pieces. I'm not paying for a drink at the bar. Why am I? My lower back is exposed, okay? And you know my toenails white. So, <laughs> the foolishness got caught in my throat, girl. <clears throat> so that's the second dress in my end of summer capsule. I have a four shirts. Number one is the Anina Bing t-shirt. This is a Benchy style shirt. It is so, so soft. What I love about it is that it already kind of has a worn in look. So over time, it's only become going to become softer. I don't know if this one is still available, but I will link it if I can. Any kind of graphic tee would work. I keep them in my closet because I love how they can make a very elevated silhouette a little bit more grungy in every day. I also have this cropped shirt from Aritzia. It is part of the Babaton collection. As I mentioned, I keep these in my closet. Always, always, always. This is my second black one because the first one I completely just wore to shreds. I also have it in white. I have a few bodysuits. You'll see me style this with several outfits throughout the capsule try-on portion of the video because it is a good one. Number three is by a black-owned brand called Ballet. Um, this is a company by the IG superstar Shateria, which I've already mentioned to you all before. Uh, quite a few of you were able to get this. It comes in different colors, but they all have this sheer fabric. So I think it comes in pink and it comes in green. The white one is my fave, and I tend, tend to wear this as a layering piece this time of year. And last but not least, you all saw the black bustier crop top in a video where I did my wardrobe basics refresh this spring. That's something that's really important, y'all. Uh, because I am getting so many miles out of my clothes, I do need to refresh them at least once or twice a year. Um, and I needed a few more kind of just layering shirts. And so I grabbed this in both black and white from H&M. It may have been 15 bucks. I love how it looks under a blazer, especially. Let's move on to suits. I did include those as one piece, but if I wanted to, obviously I could separate them out because you are gonna see me wear the blazer and the pants and different outfits. But the first one is from H&M. It is linen. Unfortunately, the linen isn't woven with aloe. I'm waiting on a sponsor to get me that Loro, that Loro suit that I mentioned to y'all in my quiet luxury video. <laughs> Right, uh, but in the meantime, okay, this H and M one is doing me quite well. We have gotten all of our cost per wear out of her, and we are still rocking her straight into fall. I got her this spring. She may still be available because I cannot recommend it enough. I love the cut of the pants, which you all will see very soon, and also the oversized fit of the blazer. My second suit is by Jocelyn, which is an Australian brand. I love them. They had me on their PR list and I'm grateful for it. Actually, the skirt that I'm wearing today is from them. Uh, you would have seen my Jocelyn pieces or at least the skirt and the matching top that I'm wearing today in my spring capsule wardrobe video. So once again, okay, we're getting mileage. We're still wearing the same pieces. I know Instagram will make y'all think the girls are out here wearing something new every day. And maybe some people are, but I speak against it. 
I speak against that fast fashion mass consumption spirit, okay? Because I'm wearing my clothes over and over again. And I think Jocelyn is a brand that allows for that because everything I've ever been gifted from them has lasted y'all. And I am obsessed with this suit. It has a double breasted jacket as well as a pair of shorts. And the shorts have great ribbing across the top. And because I am a separate gal, I have five bottoms on the list. Number one is a pair of jean shorts. I mean, it's summertime, so jean shorts are going to go a long way. I think they're perfect on top of a bathing suit when you head down to the pool. They look great dressed up, dressed down. They're a wardrobe essential, of course. Now I have um, these express shorts that, by the way, have elastic in the back for the slim thick girls. In two colors, I said in two colors, in two colors, um, and the only reason I didn't include the black ones in this capsule is because we, we, there's a lot of black here, as you can see, okay? But I have like an acid wash black pair, and I have the blue denim pair. I am wearing, I think, a size six, which I was surprised by, um, but it works because of the elastic in the back, which we love. Next up, speaking of Australian brands, is this pair of linen trousers from Dish. I don't know who got me on Dish. One day I said, let me figure out, maybe it was TikTok, I think, got me on Dish. And when I went over there, I was shook, honey. I really was because, first of all, the top that I am wearing today is from Dish. I would have included it in the capsule, but... I've worn it so much until it was dirty at the time of me filming my cutaways, y'all. Um, but speaking of high quality basics, I'm talking about these trousers. I am head over heels in love with. Like, we go together real bad. Um, because, number one, they're long enough. I am almost six feet tall. Okay. Uh, also, they fit perfectly in the waist with no gapping. And they fit in the hips. They are a size eight. There's no stretch, but they just fit my body so perfectly. The next time I'm looking for trousers, I'm definitely going to go to Dish to find them. And the shipping is pretty fast. I mean, I ordered these two pieces, the top and the trousers, while I was in Punta Cana. Um, I think I ordered them on Friday. And when I got back on Monday, they were here. They were waiting on me. So even though it comes internationally, the shipping is fantastic. And I have one more item. I actually am looking at my rack and realize I misspoke, y'all. I have four bottoms, not five. But the last one is my Anina Bing slip skirt. This is a classic for me. I've always had a black slip dress and also a black slip skirt in my capsule wardrobe video since I started to create on this channel any capsule wardrobe content. So just so you all know when I talk about knowing my style and knowing it well, this is the kind of piece that I am always going to reach for. I think at my height and my build, it's just very flattering for me. And it is very easy to wear a slip dress with sneakers, with flats, or with heels. Outfit number one includes two of my favorite pieces in my capsule wardrobe. Number one is my Anina Bing vintage tee, and number two is my Anina Bing slip skirt. Now, another piece you're going to see throughout many of these looks is going to be headwear, specifically a straw hat, and as you can see here, a baseball cap, also by Anina Bing. That girl didn't pay me, so I'm not <laughs> head to toe with Anina Bing, <laughs> but I just love her. When it comes down to elevated simplicity, if you want to be stylish, but also you want to have maximum interchangeability in your wardrobe, I cannot think of another kind of brand, and actually individual as well, because Anita Bing herself is, um, the label's named after her, she is a model, etc. So I love going through her Instagram as well as the brand's Instagram. I find so much outfit inspiration. Um, what I drop, a bag in there season after season probably not because sometimes the pieces are a little overpriced for what they are however when i do get kind of the itch she's always able to scratch it okay there's always really really good pieces that i can speak for their quality in her collections um what I love about this look is I'm wearing it kind of in a classic Anina Bing way, which is to take something casual, mix it with something dressy, then the casual and the dressy, and just keep kind of replaying out that style formula. 
Obviously the baseball cap is casual and so is the top, but what I do is I mix it with something that can be considered a lot more dressy or elevated um, by mixing it with a silk skirt as well as I am wearing a pair of Loewe sandals on my feet. Um, this pair of sandals, someone said that they found them recently like in London. I was watching one of Noriana's videos and so I know for a fact they are making their rounds at the Loewe outlet. So um, if you live near an outlet or even if you don't, give them a call. They can always ship. I got these shoes half off back in March at uh, during my trip to Woodbury Commons in New York. And then outfit number two starts with the graphic tee from the previous outfit. My goal in this video is to show you all how I interchange pieces once again. And so I decided to put it on with the trousers that are part of the H&M suit. Although the trousers are pinstripe, as you can see, I think that they actually play really, really well with the graphic tee. It's just a really nice just juxtaposition. The tee is kind of like a dusty black or kind of a washed black. And so it picks up in the black pinstripe. They're neutral color and so I think for me it's the kind of thing that is the perfect pattern mix. Also because I want to wear it casually I decided to throw on my H&M slides. Y'all, I got these last year, wore them all throughout the summer, all throughout Mexico City. I only brought, I think, one pair of flat shoes while I was there. Um, and so, yeah, they kind of have that Scandinavian kind of chunky shoe vibe to them, and they may have been 20 bucks. If I could find something similar, I will definitely link it down below because since that time, this kind of aesthetic has definitely exploded. And then I am wearing a brand new belt. The belt is from Mango. It is just a classic leather belt with gold hardware. I was impressed by the price. I have gotten rid of my Valentino belt out of my closet. I just kind of was over the logo. And so to have something that is also leather but classic in this way, I love. It kind of buttons up any look, especially because of the gold hardware. And y'all know I am a gold lover. Speaking of gold hardware, as you can see, I'm also wearing my Hacker belt bag by Brahmin. Another mention from my um, luxury haul recently, and this was gifted by the brand. I love the texture on it, the shine on it, and I just think it does something really special to a look like this. I would probably not wear it around my waist unless... I can't think of an occasion, y'all. <laughs> I really can't. Maybe the airport? But even then, the way that I love it the best is across my chest, and that is outfit number two. And of course, I could not pull out the trousers without also hitting you with the jacket, and so outfit number three features the full H&M suit. Actually, a full H&M look almost because the tube top, as I mentioned, is also from H&M. But then because I wanted to wear it in a more sporty fashion, I pulled back out the Anina Bing uh, hat. This one is called the Jeremy cap. And for shoes, y'all, these are new in, and believe it or not, they are from Monroe. Monroe uh, Steel is obviously another content creator. If you are here, then you also know Monroe Steel, of course. And she was having a closet sale. I hit her and said, let me go ahead and get these. Let me get these up off of you. And they are these amazing patent leather Saint Laurent heels. Now, I often talk to you all about tailoring. This suit is super long because as you can see, it still covers my heels with this probably about four inch, five inch stiletto. Um, if I wanted to, I could even get the hem taken out. But for you, if you needed to, you could also get the hem taken up. That is really for me a key part of the capsule wardrobe, y'all, to be honest, that you are able to customize your pieces to your liking. This is a great look, and honestly, if I did want to wear a pair of flats, I could easily have kicked off these heels and put on the same pair of shoes from the previous look. Let's keep going. For outfit four, I really wanted to give the shoes a chance to shine, and so I'm wearing an all black look. This time I've simply thrown a blazer across my shoulders from H&M. It is a super long blazer, as you can see. I love the fact that it's long because what it does is it hits these Another Tomorrow shorts right at their hemline, which I think is a really um, great kind of proportion to play with. If you're wearing something short, to mix it with something long like a blazer on top, okay? Kept on the H&M tank, as you can see, or the bandeau top, as you can see, and it's all about the legs. It is all about the legs, girl, grease them things down, shea butter, bum cream, 
or whatever it is that you love, okay? And throw on a sling back heel with some shorts this summer. This is one of my favorite outfits for sure because it's just so me in all the ways. I could also take the blazer off, kick the heels off, and just put on a pair of flat slides and get so much mileage out of this look. For sunnies, I'm wearing the Fendi Cat Eye Sunnies that you all know far too well. These, I think, come in different color frames, but I will definitely link them down below. I got them last summer and have worn them nonstop. When I reach for an everyday pair of sunglasses, it's these. So you will see them in other outfits in this collection, obviously, or this capsule. Um, and for bag, I pulled out my Goyard Clutch. I use this as a toiletry bag slash a clutch, and I feel like it added a little bit of interest by adding a pattern to this all black look and that is outfit number four for outfit five i really wanted to play with proportions so i kept on the another tomorrow shorts and decided to mix them with the ballet top i had simply tied in the front it's one of my favorite ways to wear an oversized shirt once again as a layering piece underneath i'm just wearing a black strapless bra obviously i could have also put on an easy tank uh one of the ones that i've already shown you all in this video would have worked but i think there's something kind of sexy about wearing a bra under a sheer top also put out my Sunnies by Tom Ford. This outfit is meant to be a little edgy, y'all. And I don't wear sneakers often, but what I found is that instead of wearing a sneaker, what I love just as much, if not more, is a pair of Western boots because they're comfortable, but they add flair. And these boots had the girls in the show cold. They really did. I am not a big Zara shopper, but when Zara hits, they hit, girl. A broken clock right twice a day. Okay, um, not that I'm saying Zara is broken, it's nothing wrong with the kind of people over at Zara, it's just not always for me. And so what I love is that not only are they a pair of kind of the Western silhouette boots that have been trending, but also the flame that comes up the shaft of the boot, it's just it, chef's kiss, it's black and white, I'm wearing a black and white look, pulled out my black Saint Laurent Eastside bag, it's a vibe. It's a vibe. I'm going to an outdoor festival. Actually, I probably will be there when this video comes out. Um, and so this might be the look that I wear on one of the days. Now let's get into another dress. This is the one by Ganny that I mentioned to you all. Um, I am so, so happy that I have this in my collection. It is one of those pieces that I tend to wear in the way that I'm wearing it now, which is very casually, but it could just as easily be dressed up. I think the only reason I don't is because of where it hits me. It probably is meant to be more of a maxi length dress, but it's kind of between a midi and a maxi on me because I am so tall. But nevertheless, I am wearing it with a pair of uh, slides. These are by Steve Madden, y'all. They are part of the Knox collection that I think Hilo Lux put us on. If I'm not mistaken, let me go back to Triple OG. I think, I think Janae put us on these. Oh, it's not Hilo Lux no more. Janae, yes for the name change. So Janae put us on. I said, let me go down to see Madden and see what they got, see what the girls got, okay? And they have these Knox sandals now with a little heel. They have them in a variety of cities. The Tulum ones that are beaded, I love. I, I, I just, why would you get the Dior ones that they are like a dupe after? I love these just as much, if not more, especially because as you can see, I think they go great with my Brahmin tote. The tote is kind of a burlap material. Um, and so the colorway is exact. And because the typeface is similar, they almost look like they go together, but they don't, okay? But I, what I will include in the description box is a link to the Steve Madden tote because they do have totes that are very similar to the Dior tote that matches the slides that again, that again are Dior dupes, okay? So it's dupes on dupes on dupes here. We're not mad at it because when we say can save a coin, that is most certainly what the girls are going to do. Also, I've tried on the Dior version and if I'm not mistaken, there's like a very thin sole on them with hardly any cushion at all. Uh, these are extremely soft. I actually wore these on my walk this morning. I walk y'all probably about a mile to two a day, just kind of in my neighborhood. I walk wherever I can instead of driving. And so I went out, grabbed coffee, grabbed lunch today, and just had these on with a dress, okay? So suffice it to say that they are extremely comfortable. The best $35 I have spent in a very, very long time, okay? And again, I think they work perfectly with this dress. And then I am wearing for a pop, a hat by Hats and Hats, which is a 
family owned business in North Miami that I highly recommend. One of y'all was like, stop telling people about my shop. <laughs> So you better run there fast because it is getting a lot more hype and promotion. Um, they do have an online um, presence. However, if you are in the South Florida area, I highly recommend stopping by because they give you so much insight on how to customize a hat. I've taken all of the customized pieces off of mine because I didn't want to lose them while I was traveling. But I think just as a straw hat with kind of like the, the singed, effect it still works and um i mean it's the end of summer so a straw hat is still gonna do what needs to be done and then let's get back to separates i am wearing my aritzia crop top with those dish linen pants this will probably be festival outfit number two y'all um because she's good she's good she really really is i i I love having a capsule wardrobe for moments like this, y'all. I mean, the straw hat, the very simple tank, a well-made pair of trousers. For me, what it does is really elucidate how you do not have to participate in a lot of trends in order to be stylish. And that's so important for me in the way that I like to dress because... I don't like all that turnover and waste in my closet. Um, but also, I've just not really been a trendy girl since my early 20s, maybe. And so once I learned a little bit more about my style and my aesthetic, my style pillar, this is the lane that I'm on. And I think this is one of those outfits that really showcases my style pillar the most, especially because in my mind, at least, I think that I still, I'm not boring, right? I, I still have some edge and some flair to me. However, these are pieces that can be interchanged forever, ever, because I will wear a crop top till the day I die. God willing, I'll be 90, pulling up to the institution with a mojito and a crop top. Check for me. I'm sick. Check for me at 90. This is this is squarely the miniature that I shall be on. Threw on those Tom Ford Sunnies. Uh, also am wearing my Fendi micro bag. I told you all in a 10 items I would replace luxury video that I would replace this if I lost it. I know y'all think that that is one of the wildest assertions that have ever been made on YouTube because it is literally, I mean, it holds my patience. It holds air. But for me, that's fine because what it does hold is a lip gloss. It holds my keys, so my necessary keys, my house key, my key fob, and my car key. And it holds my credit cards. My phone is in my hand. It expands a bit, so it actually is bigger than what you might think. Um, it did come with a crossbody strap, so this little metal chain that I like to wear around my um, to wear crossbody. And also, I am wearing a pair of Fendi slides that match. I think these are called the Fendi First Slides. They now come in all black, and I kind of wish I had all black. I'm not going to get the all black ones. I'm not going to do that. Anina Bing actually has a great pair of all black ones that I'll link down below. Um, but, you know, this classic Birkenstock style. Who doesn't love it? They are so, so comfortable, which is why I'm thinking about wearing this to the festival, y'all. So follow me on Instagram to see what my OOTD is next week. But I just really, really like the way that this all came together. And again, these are pieces that I could grab and go out the house in less than five minutes in. And we're back to suiting with the Jocelyn suit that I mentioned to you all. Poops is going off. One moment. The suit is 100% linen and folks often think that you cannot wear suiting during the warmer months and I don't think that is true at all. I think when you have something that is a lighter weight fabric that is breathable like linen or even like silk, it is a great way to have a tailored look. I also like the juxtaposition of something that is more tailored with a chunkier shoe and so that's why I pulled the H&M shoes back out. In order to add another color, I pulled out my gray bag. Obviously they're all neutrals and so why not add another neutral to the mix? This one is by Gray yard it is called the Vendome bag if you're interested in learning more about my Goyard pieces then make sure you have seen my most recent video which was a luxury haul for the summer and y'all I can't get enough of this crop top I, I just 
it is what it is i can't hold you i don't know what to tell you uh this time what i decided to do is put it on with a long blazer this blazer is by h and M. I don't necessarily include it in my capsule y'all because this blazer gets worn honestly 12 months out of the year and so i always know it's there i reach for it often i got it last february for fashion week and these are the kind of pieces that i think h and m hits out of the park for an affordable price point for example the previous suit that you all have already seen. I decided to put it on with the express shorts to also keep the chunky sandals on, to throw back on that Jeremy baseball cap, and to also grab my Goyard clutch. I would wear this kind of outfit if I was, for example, working from home out of the house. Um, I do work for myself, and sometimes I do just want a change of scenery, so I could definitely see myself putting this on, going and having a working lunch, or going to grab a coffee at a local coffee shop, but still wanting to look put together. This is the perfect kind of outfit for that. Girl. Hello? All right, y'all. Um, I promise you that my phone does not ring all day, poops does not bark, and the second I sit down to film, it's just all this activity. Just motion, people calling, birds chirp. It's just like the trap house. You're just out the blue, you know? <laughs> so we're back. Let's get into the last outfit. I could not end the video with another kind of sexy date night look since I feel like once again the common narrative or the negative rap that Capsule Wardrobes receives that they're boring and so I got some for the girls okay a little thigh meat uh, uh just a, a lot of leg that is going to come out with this Aritzia mini dress. Uh, once again, it actually now fits pretty well because I got it in a large, which was a little bit too big in my back and it shrunk, but it doesn't matter because I'm actually wearing it with the ballet top. Again, kind of just, um, tied in the front this is a completely unnecessary piece, but I do find that when you have, um, an additional layer, to your look whether it be a blazer or scarf or this type of shirt it could be a white linen shirt it could be a men's button down shirt it just kind of does something interesting to the style it makes the outfit once again i've said it throughout this video look a lot more intentional and also if you're wearing it out in the evening i really like the idea of having one part cover and the other part out so for example at this point in my life i probably would not wear a stiletto with a tight mini dress unless i was wearing stilettos pumps in the club like I'm going out out like out to a club out to a lounge and those days are few and far between <laughs> at this point and so the kind of going out and carrying on that I like to do <laughs> you know as Mackenzie's mom um it's just like going out with my girls going out someplace is gonna have a seat because you see the height of these heels okay I want to be able to have a great cocktail and preferably be in house in the house with my retainers in and my do-rag on and a face mask um, by 11 p.m. Because what's outside? Ain't nothing not done for me. You see what I'm saying? Uh, so I wanna be home. And as a result of that, I'm going to wear an outfit that brings the sexy, but pulls it back in a way that maybe I didn't do it when I was 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, all right? So at this age, uh, this is my idea of giving you the best that I got. All right, I am saying get into the cakes, they're caking. I am saying the legs are greased up. The toenails are white, okay? And if my song comes on, I will take off this ballet top and do what I have to do, okay? I could drop down and get my eagle on. All right, I can make my knees touch my elbows, as, as Future once said. I can do many, many things because of the fabrication of this dress um while also feeling like i am representing for those rich aunties those of us at a big age okay who uh, want to jump out here and have a great time also obviously would be great for date night as well but either way this dress i think worn with heels is the one and not the two i've already talked to you all about how i could switch the shoes out on a multitude of these outfits it would also work really nice with the straw hat for example in a pair of flat stop slides like the Steve Madden Knox sandals. Um, it doesn't wrinkle, so it's great to travel in. Get you some Maritzia Basics. I cannot speak highly enough. I don't even have an affiliate link with that company. So just please know that when I talk about some of these brands, well, all of these brands, obviously, but there are particular brands that I talk about 
purely because I love them, I cannot even get a kickback in affiliate sales. I'm just sharing it with you because I love you all and I love the brand. And that is it y'all. You have seen me take all of the pieces that are in my collection for this season and to mix and match them to make 10 outfits out of them. I hope you have loved the video. If you have, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you good people cross the internet. Peace.